All right, what's going on, guys? It is 8.30 a.m. Saturday morning. Um, we came by the lovely bookstore. Mm, I love books. <laughs> um, like I said, this place I'm kind of keeping close to the chest for now. Um, they put up some pictures of new stuff that they got, and I want to make sure we were first to get here. Um, so we got about an... Oh, hour and a half to sit around and stare at this door. But you know what? Sometimes you got to do it because I have a feeling there's going to be other people here doing the same thing today. Um, but I won't necessarily take video as I do it because it's going to be too tough. But I'll basically grab what I grab and then get a carriage and then show you guys afterwards. So today's going to be a good day because I've also got another guy I'm meeting at around 1 o'clock today. To pick up a big lot from, which we'll show you as well. And, uh, yeah. We'll see how it goes. Alright. Peace. Alright, what's going on guys? So we've already ransacked this. Um, some nice stuff. You know, 30 bucks. 30, about uh, 20 bucks. It's untested, but it's in a 101. It's kind of beat. Decent games. Systems. Cool part is... Steel Battalion controller with the foot pedals. They're looking for 150 on it though. So if anybody's interested, let me know. Um, we found a couple cool things. I'll show you what Grant grabbed first. Somehow I walked right by it. Yeah, so Grant got that. It's complete. Yeah, walked right by it. We really looked at it and grabbed something else. Some decent stuff. My grabs so far, Super Nintendo. I grabbed this instead of uh, Bloodlines, because I'm an idiot. But hey, at least Grant got it, so I can't be too sad. Um, i got to go through these, see what's worth it. Double Dragon on the uh, Game Boy. Controller, five bucks, Nintendo branded. Killer Instinct, going to try to get that label off. Uh, Pokemon Stadium. Star Wars Racer sealed. We'll see the rest in the recaps. Walked into a pawn shop. This place is gigantic. It's like a thrift store. Found some video games. Thirty-five bucks. I don't. What's going on, man? What are you getting on the games? Uh, different prices. I mean, uh, the ones in the cases, like Madden's five, but all the other ones here are 10 each, three for 20. This one here's 10, same thing. These are 10, 10, 50 for the hold. This is a number one Nintendo with number four controllers, number one zapper, and it comes with a head cleaner for 50 bucks. Okay. I've got the UV cable, everything but the power cord. Three controllers. All right, cool. Like three games for 20. Three games for 20? Yeah. How much? What are you getting on the uh, NES games? I'm trying to uh, wish one. Show me which one you like, but I was trying to sell it all together. Do I have it? Oh, all together? I got you. I got yeah, you. I got um, 250 and all, everything. 21 games and the whole system. And you want 250? Whatever. Okay. How much you want for this booklet? No, I got the games in there. Oh, yeah, okay. uh, you won't sell them separately? Well, if you do, show me what you have. Wow. Like Double Dragon 3? Double Dragon, I don't know, maybe a good 35. Oh, uh, okay. yeah. 30, I don't know, maybe an offer, but uh, it's going to be, you know, good money. Yeah. 250 best offer on all of them with the game. Yeah, it's a little little red for my blood. Tell me where you are. Tell me where we are. I mean, honestly, a lot of these are just common games. That Double Dragon's no more than $10. Yeah, the most. Ooh. Yeah, I know. The turtles. Yeah, I mean, if you want to break them up, I, I'd do something lower, but... Well, that would be. Show me what you want. Maybe well, you offer. 
And we go from there. I'm wanting to negotiate. Legitimate forever. Talk to me. Just a book right here. I have most of these. You know, that's like a five dollar game. Yeah. What are you doing these two? Bring me an offer. Maybe twenty bucks, ten bucks a piece. Give me a second. I'm gonna do some research and I'll let you know. All right. So I just don't want you know. Pretty sure. They will put it right in the top and right. come back to me like, yeah. All right. Well, don't let anybody take it until I go. I didn't need to. I used like $35. What? What are you doing? How are you fucking doing this shit? I don't know. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Yeah, I know. Is it? No, this is it. Is this yours? Ah, uh, you just, just left. Oh. <laughs> There's a whole basket of stuff. I mean, it's all controllers and booklets, but... I don't know, I'll see what he wants for all of it. This box is empty. Hey, what's going on? What's up? What are you getting on the Super Nintendo? 50 bucks. 50 bucks? Yeah. For that, you know, yeah. paper shit and everything. It all goes together? No, I don't need it. Yeah, all together. Okay. Pamphlets and shit. Okay. Cool. All right, thanks, man. What's going on, guys? What's up? What are you getting on the games? Four different brokers. Street Hockey 95. What are you getting on this guy here? 40. What oh, are you getting on this one, King Monsters? That one, 10. 10 bucks. It don't work. I test it every day. Okay? Yeah. Let's we'll take a three. Was kind of missed. Uh, video barn. Uh, yeah, yeah. Five bucks, ten for the brand new one. That is very good. Damn, I'm dying already. <laughs> oh, got hot all of a sudden. Uh oh. What are you doing on the Super Mario? 10 bucks. You do 15 for both? Shit! The art on these are just cool. Yeah, I know. That's why I was looking for a good one just to hang out. What's the last one? Warlock? Warlocks? That's kind of cool. I would almost get Warlocks if it was cheap enough. This one's sealed. What is it though? I don't know! <laughs> it's Tariq. No, I know that. It's a, like a little shooter. Isn't this the guy who had the uh, ColecoVision Cle last year? KB Toys, that's awesome. Yeah. What are you getting on your Atari games? You can't hear shit over that. What are you getting on the... Uh, you have more for 10 bucks. Yeah. yeah, why not? Huh? You good? How many are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But you don't want to give them any money back, do you? It's like a buck a piece. Yeah. What do you think? I don't know. Take a. I mean, they're in good shape. Take a gamble on them. It's still sealed. I don't know. Yes. I mean. I don't know. It was a. I. 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 It was the. You guys had the black one before too. Yeah, my buddy. That's why I said that. I didn't realize this is a variant to this. Is it really? What was the variant? Brothers says over here as opposed to over here. Really? I never knew that. Yeah. They're not, one's not really worth more than the other. It's just no, no. one of those weird things. Type of thing. 30 bucks on this guy, really? That's what they going for on eBay. No way. Like five bucks. $5 game. Yeah, it's one of the, it's like the most common game out there. And that's not even the one with Duck Hunt. I just, I, I literally passed one out for five bucks. Like, in, what, an hour ago? Yeah. Yeah. This is a cool game if you've never played it. 
I, uh, I have it on my um. I gotta, I gotta make some money. Wow, that does look cool. You get different helmets for different levels. I know what this is. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, you want it? You picked it up first. No instructions, no refunds or exchanges. Five bucks. A little sun faded, but yeah, fuck it, I'll take it. Five bucks. That's not bad. Yeah. That wee's pissing me off. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. What is going on? So, if you've been watching my Instagram for the past two days, you've seen that I've got some epic pickups. Um, so, I'm going to dive right in. I don't know, as usual, how I'm going to do this, but I'm going to show you everything. You know what? We're going to start from today and work our way backwards. Um, but my first pickup, actually, I'll show you. Uh, I got earlier in the week. It was my only week pick up well pick up during the week um i picked this up at savers for seven but actually the tags right here seven bucks came with a little case and it was a pink glacier pink game boy advance it unfortunately doesn't have the back because it had the i'll show you it had one of the rechargeable battery packs on the back um, so I will have to order one of those on eBay to be able to sell this guy off. But for eight bucks, uh, seven bucks, not bad. I should be able to resell this guy for 25 as I've sold all the other ones recently for 25 bucks. So that was a good pickup. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start with today aside from that. So today, uh, Grant and I went out, uh, I had Grant around again as per usual. Um, me and him pretty much spent the day together yesterday and the morning together today and we're going to a toy auction tomorrow night or tonight because you guys are going to see this on Monday so by the time you see this or maybe I'll either be at work or at the toy auction depending on when you watch it uh, but anyway so today was a pretty good day too um, spent a little more than I really wanted to but I got some pretty decent deals um, today apparently was the day for Atari at the flea market everybody had atari stuff for some reason i don't collect atari grant doesn't collect atari uh we came across a guy whose basically table he had nothing but atari and we watched the guy buy over a hundred dollars worth of atari stuff and it wasn't actually that much um but he spent a hundred bucks on atari stuff grant picked up a pile of atari games that were all boxed Th three of them were sealed uh then we went over to random and he resold them then um just so he didn't have to really take him too long but basically triple doubled his money tripled his money i don't remember um either way he was happy we were all happy i did get one atari game off of him that he picked up just because i thought the cover art was kind of cool um i don't plan on collecting atari but some games i just grab because the cover art is cool um that was warlords it just seemed kind of neat. Uh, the top of the box is ripped, and there's a little dent in the front. But, I mean, for a game that came out in uh, 1981, I'm not going to be too upset. The game itself is in, like, mint shape, like it's never been used. Um, then we went to... Well, that was found at uh, one of the flea markets. This was found at the second flea market we went to of the day. Uh, paid five bucks for this. It is missing the manual. Um cover is a little bit sun faded because I don't think this is the correct coloring it was a blockbuster rental at one point because it's got a blockbuster sales sticker on the back uh, this was sold back in 1995 uh, but the Genesis kid chameleon like I said I don't collect much in the way of Genesis but um, I did play this on my little handheld Genesis that they came out with and it was fun, so I figured, you know, why not pick it up? I could play it on my Retron 5. Um, after that, pick up, well, going backwards, going to the first flea market we went to, a nice lady gave me this for free because she had no idea what it was and there was nothing else with it. It's just the booklet for Duke Nukem. Uh, total Meltdown. I'm pretty sure I have disc only copy somewhere, so I'll put that with that as I throw it on the floor. I grabbed this for a dollar. Uh, I think I have it, but for a dollar, I'll probably put it out at my yard sale. Um, it is Tekken 2 on the PS1, the greatest hits version. 
Not bad, not bad. Uh, I grabbed these. Paid 10 bucks for the pair. Uh, I tried to do just the game for cheaper than 10 and the guy didn't want to budge because we were literally there earlier than we should have been. Um, so I just kind of threw this in as, as a throw in so I didn't feel as bad paying 10 bucks for one game. Uh, I do already have this, but my copy is, I don't know where, so I figured I'd grab a copy and leave it in my car. Um, you guys are like, why would you leave a video game in your car? Well, it's not a video game. Uh, this is a CD, is Rob Zombie's Hillbillies Deluxe. This is a great CD by Rob Zombie if you're into that type of music. Um, so I was very glad to get that. The game I picked up along with it uh, was King of Monsters 2 for the Super Nintendo. If it'll focus, which it won't, there's a little bit of a nick at the top, not too bad. Um, so, it was a nice little add to the collection. Um, I'll go through the junk ones first. I mean, you've sort of all seen footage of all this by now, and I feel like that's a little high. There you go. Uh, I grabbed these. I don't think these were on film because I think my camera was dead by then. Uh, it came with one controller and the zapper gun and was it all these? No, nope, not that one. Uh, five games or six, five games, a zapper gun and a controller. Um, I got hoops, junk game, I know. Uh, WrestleMania, a little bit better game. Uh, this one, the price tag on it, but it is not the price I paid. Uh, Ultima, Exodus, uh, Solar Jetman, and there's the price sticker on my finger. Um, and Fester's Quest. I think the only one out of this lot I plan on keeping um, is Solar Jetman because I already have Ultima. I don't care for hoops. Um, or the wrestling, so those will probably be bundled with one of the systems I have. Um, I grabbed these four games for 10 bucks, which was really a nice deal. Nothing super crazy, but still uh, NES games that you can choose for 250 a piece. Not too bad for me, I would say. Uh, the first one is Dash Galaxy and the Alien Asylum. I didn't have that. Now I do. Um, Time Lord, made by Milton Bradley. You guys got to let me know if any of these games are good. Um, I grabbed them because one, the cover art, and two, I didn't have them. And three, they were two fifty a piece. Um, obviously, a lot of us who collect games are suckers for cheap games. Uh, third game was Destination Earth Star. I think that's what it says. Uh, and then lastly, on those games was Eight Eyes. I think Eight Eyes was actually the best game out of that little lot. Um... Then I grabbed these two. Uh, you did see footage of these. So obviously we walked up um, this gentleman we've I've dealt with for the past couple summers. Um, and then he his, his prices are kind of weird. Um, I don't know if he just kind of threw it out there as a price to see if it would stick. But uh, basically he had the NES with 22 games and he wanted 250 bucks. Obviously, anybody walking around at the flea market, I highly doubt is going to grab that for a deal. It wasn't really that good of a deal, because if you figure, let's just say, the NES retail 50 bucks, each game will round it out to like 8 to 10 bucks a piece. There's your 250 okay? It's, it's kind of ridiculously high. Uh, nice guy, but unfortunately, I don't think he really realized what it's worth. So, I saw these two games uh, and grabbed him and asked him what he wanted. He said, make him an offer. Um, I told him 20 bucks, as you guys saw, and he told me to come back. He's going to look at him. I came back. He wanted 30. We obviously settled on 25. Nice in the middle number. Um, generally, I don't pay that much for two games at a flea market, but they weren't bad games and they were a nice shame. Uh, Mega Man 3. Nice clean label. And Mega Man 4. Again, nice clear, clean label. Uh, there's a little bit of peeling in the very bottom corner. But aside from that, um, not bad. I now have them in my collection, so now I only need five and six for the NES collection. Um, but yeah, not, not too bad. 
Also, all the zapper in that. I told you about that. So, let's run into yesterday, Saturday. So, I talked to this guy earlier in the week. Um, Grant was down and out for a few days. Um, he's still kind of hurting a little bit. Um, but he's good. He'll be fine. He told me, uh, hey, I can't check out this deal. Check out this guy. Um, so he sent me an offer up deal. Uh, nice kid. Uh, I talked to him on Wednesday. He said he couldn't meet till Saturday, which was fine because I'm available pretty much Saturdays all day. And um, he put up a bunch of video game stuff. He put up a Nintendo 64, uh, a PS2 with a bunch of games, GameCube with a bunch of games, and a bunch of Wii games, but no Wii. So I messaged him within 10 minutes of this thing being listed and we came to a deal which was awesome he was happy I was happy and then I had to wait till Saturday so obviously during the week over a couple days I'm afraid people are gonna try to hit him up but I had asked him very nicely if he would take it down and say it was sold um, so basically people wouldn't try to you know outbid me and you know whatever so he did really nice kid um, ended up meeting up with him yesterday Grant went with me and I really wish I had gotten footage of this. Uh, it was kind of cool. We chatted up a little bit. Um, and Grant was going through some of the games. I was going through some of the games just to make sure everything was there. Because he, I asked if, if he didn't mind. And he said, absolutely, I want you to look at them. And the best part was, all the games were mint. Um, out of all the games, there was only one game missing. Um, which was one of the PS2 games. And it's not a big deal. It was just a copy of Grand Theft Auto 3. So I have an empty case currently for one. Uh, like I said, not a big deal at all. Um, but some of the games in this lot were nice. I ended up um, taking a few of the games uh, over to GameStop and uh, selling like four of the games before their promotion was up. And that was nice. So I got a little bit of my money back. And with that being said... And stop saying the word and. I sound so stupid right now. I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, first, I'll show off the systems. Uh, I got an Indigo GameCube. Uh, the, it was missing the, the AV cable, but I got plenty of those lying around, so that's not a big deal. It works. It was tested. Um, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit, unfortunately. It looks like they were sitting somewhere collecting dust for a while. Uh, I grabbed <clears throat> this N64. Again, it's dusty. Um, this came with one controller. Yeah, came with one controller. Uh, it does not have the jumper pack. Uh, unfortunately, I did test this out. Power's on, no problem, but I can't get the AV to work. So I think it just needs a good deep clean, and it should be all right. Because um, these things are usually pretty much tanks, and it looks like nothing is wrong with this. So I'm just thinking it's a little dirty in the uh, port in the back. Um, so my afternoon is going to be deep cleaning these after I do this. Um, I got a fat PS, oh Jesus, as I'm knocking stuff over, I got a fat PS2, um, which is nice, again, a little dirty in the fan, but these things always are, because they sucked in dust like in nobody's business, uh, this came with two controllers, um, came with a nice blue one, which I didn't have, again, needs to be cleaned up, um, wires galore, came with uh, a normal black controller you know the one that came with it um, I've got a million of these now but it's nice so when you have the systems you can put two controllers with a system uh, bra -bra -bra. the N64 had two controllers that's right I forgot whoops there was a gray controller the little thing is not bad but not where you want it to be uh, also came with the Nintendo branded blue controller which is nice, make it a little bit of a rattle, but no biggie. Um, so those were the systems in the lot. I got a crud ton of games. Like I said, four of them I've already sold. Um, wasn't much, but it was nice to get a little bit of my money back right away uh, so I could have it for today at the flea market. Um, basically, obviously, as usual in every PS2 lot, a uh, bunch of sports games. Those will be thrown in with some system. Um, I have like two things here, so that's why I'm kind of like jumbling. Uh, ba -da -ba -da. I don't 
So, uh, so thank them. Uh, some of the Wii games, the ones that I ended up not selling off, uh, are gonna go in my yard sale pile. Uh, Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz. Uh, SpongeBob's Boating Bash. Ghostbusters the video game. This one looks kind of neat. I might actually hang on to that and kind of play around with that if I ever use my Wii. Uh, and Smackdown vs. Raw 2011. I thought this was going to be worth more, but it's not. Uh, it's like a $4 game at GameStop. It might trade in for a little more uh, on eBay. And there's a trading card in the inside, which is kind of cool too. Um, so that's... Uh, there's one other Wii game, but I will save those to the end. Oh, uh, well, there's two other Wii games, I'm sorry. Uh, Mario Super Sluggers, and there's one more I'll save to the end because it's a nice one. Um, the four games I traded in to GameStop was Mario Party 8, uh, Pokemon Tournament, or something like that. I can't think of it. Uh, Sonic and Mario Olympics, and I can't remember the fourth game. But I traded those in, and it was nice to, like I said, get some of the money back. Uh, go through more of the PS2 games, because these are just kind of stacked weird. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, disc only. Eh, whatever. Uh, Midnight Club 2. It's complete. Like I said, these are all in really nice shape, too. Um, come on, get out of the box. Sorry, these things are all stacked. Kind of weird. There we go. Uh, a few more sports games. We have Ultimate Alliance Special Edition. I already have that, so that will be for sale or trade. Um, good system bundlers. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto Liberty Stories. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. And... Did I already say this? I did. Uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. So there's two copies of that. Um, and that does have the right disc in it. Because uh, I thought maybe it would have the disc for... Uh, Grand Theft Auto 3 in it, and it doesn't. Uh, the disc is just not here. It's not in the system either. Uh, no big deal, as I have said. Uh, I am not worried about it. Would you stop falling over? Thanks. Uh, I got Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkai Tenkiachi 1 and 2. Um, Naruto Ultimate Ninja. Naruto Ultimate Ninja 2. Uh, Bakugan Battle Brawlers. This one was missing the manual. Um, I'm not keeping any of those so far. Uh, -da -da. Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. Smackdown vs. Raw 2010. Smackdown vs. Raw 2007. Um, again, not keeping any of those. This stuff is going to be yard sale type stuff, so. Um, do you... The PS2 stuff was kind of thrown at the end. Um, he just kind of wanted to get rid of everything, so he had asked me, like, Friday afternoon, hey, do you want the PS2 stuff too? I said, sure, how much? Added on a little bit more money. We agreed on a price. Everybody's happy. Good to go. So that's why this stuff is mostly stuff I'm not keeping. Um, Shrek Smash and Crash. I think that's what it was. Smash and... Yeah, Smash and Crash Racing. Uh, Shrek's Carnival Crazy Party Games. I think that one's missed the manual. It feels really light. No, it's there. Just a very thin manual. Um, again, not keeping any of those. Do, 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 do. Probably should show you that first. Can you saw a video of that? Um, then there was the GameCube lot. Uh, the GameCube lot was 90% of the reason I you know, contacted the kid about this lot. Um, the GameCube games you were about to see, uh, most of them are pretty good. Uh, there's a couple of them in here that are meh games, but most of them, pretty good. Um, I'll show you the junk stuff first, obviously. Um, there's a game in here that I've had somebody ask me for for a while, uh, so that one will be spoken for. Uh, but the other, there's another, let's see. Is this on both systems? It might be. Um, this kid's name is on some of these, so I'm going to try to cover it up with my hand. Um, but... There's Naruto Clash of the 
Clash of Ninja 2. Or Naruto 2 Clash of Ninja? I don't know. Uh, player's Choice. Um, Teen Titans. Of course, I've now come across that on the GameCube and PS2, but not the Xbox, which is the expensive version. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the GameCube. Spider-Man on the GameCube. And these are all in, like, minty mint shape, by the way. Uh, very, very clean, nice. I'm going to look at this one. It's not going to be, but, yeah, it's a little dirty. But, uh, great, and looked at all these and said they were good. Uh, WWE Crush Hour. Again, none of those I'm keeping because I either have them on another system or don't really care. Um, and that fell. Please don't knock anything over. Uh, let's see. I guess it doesn't really matter which order I show these in, but I kind of want to show them worst to best. I don't know. I'm probably putting these out of order anyway. Um, doesn't matter. I'm going to show them all off anyway. Uh, this one is... Try to cover his name a little bit. Mario Superstar Baseball. His name is written on some of these in Sharpie, but it should just come right off with a little bit of uh, elbow grease. Uh, now the, the better games are pretty much these next six. Uh, Star Fox Assault. I have not sure what these go for, by the way. Um, Kirby Air Ride. Super Mario Strikers. Um, this one is uh, currently spoken for. I haven't told the person yet that I did get it, um, so I need to let them know. But unless he says he doesn't want it, this one is already spoken for and taken. It is Super Mario Sunshine. My hand's a little weird because his name is written first and last there. Um, it's a nice, clean copy. It looks in really good shape. Um, it does have the game stop tags on it, but oh well. And these two games I also picked up last weekend, so both of these will be for sale. Um, Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness, which is minty shape, and Mario Kart Double Dash. This is just the single disc version, um, so I'll be keeping the other one. Um, just kind of funny how things work out, because I wasn't sure if I was going to keep the other Double Dash, but now that I got this one, um, oh jeez, to recoup with... Um, I'm definitely keeping the other one. So, those were all the games and systems from one offer up lot. So, there are deals still be to be had out there um, as far as offer up goes. I've not done really well because either people snatch them up right away or they get lost, left up too long and people don't want to take them down when deals are made. Whatever. Oh, there was one game I didn't show you. Terrible, terrible. Uh, but let me finish my thought. Uh, so just ask, ask them, you know, if you make a deal, be like, hey, I know we're not meeting right now. Do you mind taking it down? It'll save you headache in the end. It'll save them headache in the end. Uh, excuse me, sorry. Um, the last Wii game was actually probably the best game out of the entire lot of everything. Um, I don't, I don't think I'm going to keep it because like I said, I don't collect for the Wii. I don't really play my Wii. I know this is a very desirable game on the Wii. Uh, it's a very desirable series in general. If you guys saw my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. It is Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. Uh, this disc is mint. Looks like it's never been touched or played. Um, obviously, you can't really tell on camera, so there's no point in me trying to show you. Uh, it is complete. I have had one person ask me if it's for, for trade or sale. Uh, I said, sure, you could shoot me an offer. Um, I know they go on online anywhere from 50 to 70 bucks. Uh, so I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might hang on to it now just because it's more of an uncommon rare game. And I like having them in my collection. Even though I don't do anything with the, with the Wii, it's still cool to to see the, the more desired games in a collection. Um, so that is all from that uh, offer up deal. Um, in the morning time, Grant and I got up nice and early. And we went to this spot, special spot, which I'm still not giving up on um, its location. We went, we were there very, uh, we were there early before they opened. We were the first ones in line. There really wasn't a line that was like, uh, we saw a couple cars pull up at a certain point. So we decided to get up and go in line. Uh, so Grant and I were the first in line, but there was maybe eight of us by the time the doors opened. So not a lot of people. Um, but they had put up a picture 
the night before uh, or two days before about some stuff that they retro stuff they were putting out so I want to make sure we got there so that we would be able to get the retro stuff you guys have already seen video recaps of this but obviously I'm going to show you what I picked up um, Grant got lucky and caught me slipping I mean slipping hard uh, <laughs> I looked at some Genesis games and totally whiffed by a copy of um, Castlevania on uh, the Genesis it's in its current condition he picked it up it's like a hundred and ten hundred and twenty five dollar game he's gonna keep it and play it because he wants all the Castlevania games which I do too so I wish I had seen it but Grant's been kind of having a rough week so I'm glad that he got that because he missed out on this lot that I got so I'm glad he got it and I missed it but you guys saw that in the recap um, so what I grabbed here I grabbed um, I'll show you this first. Grabbed a Super Nintendo. Uh, what did I, I don't remember what I paid for this. Uh, I paid a very fair price for it. It was complete. It needs to be cleaned up. It works fine. Um, like Those things are tanks. So uh, I picked up Hyperzone on the Super Nintendo. It's complete. Box is a little... is is more than a little beat up. It's kind of crushed. Um, nothing crazy. Uh, I like adding boxes to my collection. The art still looks nice, so I'll probably just throw it in a protector to try to keep its shape. And... Yeah. Um, no rhyme or reason how I'm doing this. I got a red uh, Nintendo 64 controller because I really don't have many. And the stick on that is really tight. Uh, These things are so far away. Um, doo -doo -doo. A game I've been looking for for a while. This label, I might be able to get it off without ruining it. I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm not going to try. Uh, Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo. So those two are staying in the collection. Uh, these three were picked up to be recoupers. I'm probably gonna throw two of them with the Nintendo 64 system if I can get it up and running, which I think I should. Uh, I think it just needs deep clean. But I picked up Pokemon Stadium. Uh, I picked up Mario Kart 64 and Super Mario 64. So like you can see, you can understand why those last two will go in a system bundle, because um, those are desirable games. Uh, I also got a Mar uh, Super Mario Brothers Deluxe booklet. I think I got that lying around somewhere. Uh, well, yeah, that's it. Um, and this last game is actually sealed. There's a little bit of a rip on this, the upper corner of the seal because this thing got crushed at some point. But aside from that, uh, the seal is pretty much intact. Um, I'm probably just going to sell it as is because I don't like opening sealed games and just weird like that uh is star wars pod racer episode one pod racer or just racer um as you can see there Let's see if you can tell there's a little bit of a rip in the seal but aside from that it's sealed all the way around um those were really good deals on those um i paid very short money on those uh but that's it, guys. That's everything for two days. Two days. This is a half-hour recap because of how much stuff I picked up. So we're going to wrap this up real quick. Um, if you see anything here you like, aside from the Super Nintendo stuff and PlayStation stuff, uh, hit me up because most of this is for sale. There's very little of it I'm actually keeping out of this stuff. I'm actually probably going to list a lot of it online tonight as well because I need to get back on that. I haven't done it in like a week. Um, so, like I said, if you saw this, see this, if I still have it, let me know. I will let you know. And, uh, yeah, definitely check out my last video. The contest is gone and over with. Uh, the winner did, uh, contact me, which is nice. His stuff's going out tomorrow, which is today, Monday, for you guys. Um, but yeah, so thanks for watching, as always. Let me know if you like anything in the comments below. Shoot me a, a message on Instagram or offer up on offer up huh. Instagram or Facebook page I can't think anymore um, like subscribe comment share the whole nine yards check out my Facebook page and my Instagram if you haven't already um, everything I get is shown there before you see it here at least on my Instagram and if you need to contact me those are the two best sources to do so and as always thanks for watching guys I will see you soon peace out